Hi, this is Neil with a minute of medicine for your mind. I work at a university where we serve a large population of non-traditional, what I call at potential, not at risk, but at potential students. These students have been out of school for many years because they made life decisions early on and they're coming back to us now to continue their education pursuits. Now, because these students have been out of school for so long and they've been so good at life, you know, maintaining loans and homes and children and, and, and careers, that the first sign that their education journey gets a little rough and stretches them, it's easier for them to quit. So our retention rate was dropping, our, our, our dropout rate was going up through, this, through the roof. So we started studying, okay, what are these students doing that's making them to want to drop out? What's up against them? And we educated ourselves, but we still saw that dropout rate begin to soar through the roof. So it dawned on me, we're looking at this wrong. Let's focus on what students are doing right instead of what they're doing wrong. So I wrote a grant and did some study on a, a group of about 1,400 successful men of color and we found out what strategies they put in place to stay successful and about uh, we came up with about uh, nine implications that we could put in place in our systems to help everyone be successful so we put about four of those seven implications in place and in a year's time we had a 20 percent increase in our retention because we were focused on what students were doing right instead of what they were doing wrong you see what i'm trying to say to you today is real simple see if you always walk into the fields of your life focusing on what's going wrong, then eventually you are going to destroy what's going right. You see, we all have goals and a purpose and dreams and things we want to accomplish, but there's going to be wrinkles in the journey because we all have strengths and weaknesses. My point is this, focus on your strengths and activate them so you can build up your weaknesses. So when you walk into the fields of your life, it's all good soil. So all you got to do is sow your seeds and reap a harvest. This is new with a Minute of Medicine for your mind.